Oh, there it goes. Okay. Perfect. All right, so gonna use our arrow keys. So these are our classes. We have the warrior, we have the rogue, the sorcerer, and the monk. Um, we did a warrior playthrough. Technically, the warrior playthrough is the canonical playthrough. I'm gonna turn this down because it's very loud. Um, uh, because this is the returning prince, so it's canonical playthrough, but if you wanna see the canonical playthrough, go watch our first thing. We're going rogue. Just in case we get the unlucky spawn of, uh, uh, normal mode should be fine. In case we get the, the unlucky spawn of the butcher, which is always a possibility. Also, this has manual saving, so we'll be doing that quite often. Oh, my friend. Stay, Stay a while, while and listen. listen. Ah, we're back. Okay. Also, I need to... I thought there is her... Options. Jog. Gamma. That should be fine. Hold on. Um, I'm gonna do something real quick. I... Okay, hold on. Transform. Edit. No bounds. Close. I'm gonna try to resize this so it, it fits better. Do, do, do that. Do that. Okay. Gonna be a little stretched, but uh, I don't think that'll be too much of an issue. All right. Actually, hold on. Why is it? Why are you guys getting that resolution and I'm not? It's actually kind of funny. Um. Anyways, let's see what we got. We got Thank Ogden. You be turned. You've returned. Whoa! What can I do for you? Uh, oh, old. Gotta turn my sensitivity on my mouse down, because otherwise this game will have us running all over the place. That should be good. Alright, let's see. Inventory, we've got our short bow. Which will make some fights easier and some fights ready. Some fights harder. Alright. But yeah, you got you got Pippin. Or Pippin. Pippin the healer. We got good old Kane the Elder. Also known as Decker King. We got Griswold the Blacksmith. We've got Ogden the Tavern Owner. And of course, we have Jillian the Barmaid. Let's see. Do we get the unlucky spawn of Butcher? We do. Please listen to me. The Archbishop of Lazarus. He led us down I'll here to back. find the lost prince. The bastard led us into a trap. Now everyone is dead. Killed by a demon he called the Butcher. Avenge us! Find this butcher and slay him, so that our souls may finally rest. Also, if you did not see our, our other playthrough, I have this. Yes, this is the, it's not in great condition, I will I will admit, but this is the official strategy guy for Diablo 1. Um I can't remember when this was printed. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Usually it tells you at the beginning. 1997. I've had, we've had this book since 1997. Uh, unfortunately, we're at the Butcher. Uh, but the Rogue is the best person able to deal with the Butcher. The sanctity of this place, place has, has been, been fouled. fouled. All right, let's I get into it. Spell ready. Get into it. See if we can get any lucky drops early on. That is not. That is the opposite of a lucky drop. Okay. By the way, I absolutely love Diablo. Um. Diablo 1 and 2 were probably some of my favorite games of all time. 
Take it that. Yeah. Okay, no use for a buckler. Is the audio and stuff still good for you guys? Looks like it is. Diablo! Save often because you never know when something's just gonna come up and blub you to death. Also, the beauty of the 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 rogue is uh, if you start out with a bow, you don't have to find one. Ow. Um. Unfortunately, you can't shoot the barrels from afar, which is kind of weird. But oh, that's actually not a bad level too, dude. Straight straight over here. It's a pretty solid level too. Is that a cube? Oh, it's the rune. Oh, yeah, I forgot we're playing Hellfire. <laughs> yeah, we, we... You know what? We might... We might do another Diablo run soon. Because we did not play Hellfire, and I do want... I do want to have a playthrough of Hellfire on the channel. Um... Uh, because Hellfire adds, uh, it adds a, a person, uh, and a demon that is never referenced ever in the lore. <laughs> like, it is basically, it's in this game and never again. Cruel, or Krull, I can't remember how you say it. Uh, it's like K-R-U-U-L or something. Uh, he's the, he's in this game, uh, through the expansion, and never referenced ever again. <laughs> All right, there's the level up. What are you playing now? My foot has horrible pain, so I took it. Oh, that's fine. Take care of yourself, obviously. We are playing Diablo 1. All right, we got to get the dexterity up. Got to get that to hit up. It's going to be very helpful for us later on. But hopefully, you're, hopefully your foot's doing better. Sorry to hear that the, that happened. It always sucks when that stuff happens. But yeah, we took a we took a little bit of break. I stretched, got some. Uh... Funny you mentioned that. Bam. PlayStation One Diablo. It doesn't have Hellfire. But, uh, which is what we're playing on. This is on GOG, by the way. This is like 10 bucks. What's cool about this one is it actually has a built-in two-player. So instead of having to connect through like Battle.net or LAN or whatever, you can pop this in the system and it has built-in two-player, which is awesome. I have yet to find someone to play with, mind you. But uh, you can also see the differences in the UI. So if you look, you can see the health bars are different. So this is the two-person health bar. Also, the, the the words, I know that's a bit hard to see. The words are bigger for better things, but the lighting also changes too. Yeah, this this is one of the things I'm so happy I acquired. I actually stumbled upon this. I was going to a store for a different game, um, and I looked in their case because they a lot of places will have like games like this that are a little bit higher value in like their case. And I was looking through it, I was like, is that complete? And I pointed at the album because all I could see is like this, which just means that they have the back because the if you don't know how PlayStation works, the side, the sides and the back are all one piece of paper. And then the front is a manual, right? Um, but and he, uh, the the clerk pulled it out and was like, yeah, it looks like it's complete. I'm like, I want that. I, I just give me that. <laughs> so. But yeah, I, I I am very happy to own a copy of the PSX version. It is, I, I think, 
I think it's probably a worse copy overall, but like the built-in co-op makes it so much more like fun to share because um, because you don't have to worry about uh, like connecting computers together through like a LAN and all of that jazz. I don't even recognize this. Yeah. Yeah, this is the PC version. This is, this is what it looked like originally. It is a little stretched out, but I wanted you guys to be able to see more of it, which, by the way, I still need to fix. There we go. Okay, and we can do. Sorry, I'm just trying to. Oh, that's, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Hold on. So I'm, I'm trying to fix. So that way it, uh, there we go. It takes up the whole screen. Oh, no. oh, this is why you gotta pause. Almost got blasted. But, uh, this is also, again, this is also Hellfire. So there's items like this rune here, this rune of fire that were not in the game originally. Uh, Hellfire is the expansion for um, Diablo 1. Blacksmith oil is another new weapon, or a new item. Uh, because blacksmith oil restores durability. So they, they added quite a bit. Ooh, staff fireball. Nice. You always want to pick up staffs. Staffs sell for a lot. Staffs and books are a great way to make money early on. Um... Man, this is such a good game to end the, the the stream with. I love Diablo. This is why we got to get our chance to hit up, by the way, so that we actually consistently hit people with our arrows. Otherwise, it's going to be a colossal pain. Right? Ooh, we got a lucky uh, bookcase. Got to be careful. This might be a bone room. There's rooms like this that have just like a, an army of skeletons in them. I'm going to turn the map off. I'll just I'll just do this. The map, I, I'm so used to running with the map on. Okay, what book we got? Please be... Ugh, Firebolt. It's hoping for a book of healing. Scroll of healing's not bad. We, we can we can make do with that, but... Um, if we can get a book of healing, that's helpful, as well as a... Uh, there's, like... Teleport, mana shield. There, there's some stuff that really could help us out, depending if we can get them... By the way, this is the power of, of the rogue, uh, is the fact that she she starts with a bow, and since everything here is mostly melee until you get to deeper levels, you can just absolutely just unload. Ooh, got a cap. Nice. Got a scroll of healing. Okay. Inventory. Let's put the app on. We're not going to go ahead and learn to match the, that bolt. Um... Save. I need to. That's good. No, one more should be. There we go. Okay. We're going to save and sell those. Because, ooh, Jesus. Okay, sword drop. That's good. By the way, you can't fire blindly into a room and hit things if they're in the trajectory of the, the arrow. Like that. <laughs> So it's 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 sometimes just useful if you see a big space to fire into it. Okay. Ooh, cape, nice. All right, getting some armor. Um, durability. That's what we have the blacksmith oil for. Bam. Inventory. Get that. Uh, I don't like a single book room. That usually is a trap. Oh, 
<laughs> See, we shot through. This is also an important thing. Certain mobs can open doors and certain ones can't. Um, for some reason, skeletons can't. So you could do this. This is a bone room, by the way. This is what I was talking about. See how it was full of skeletons? Um, all right, 70 is good. We need to make sure we still get some strength and vitality so we can wear certain armor and stuff uh, later on. Oh, Jesus. I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. It's been a very long time. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. Skeleton tome. That's what I was thinking. When, when I saw the single tome, I'm like, it's probably a skeleton room. But there's grating like this. Um, that's uh, That allows you to shoot in or out. Um... Uh, and that is actually the trick on how we're going to deal with the butcher. And you might be wondering, what do you mean? Well, the butcher can't open doors. And if we could find something on his level, he's on level two, but if we could find something on his level that allows us to do that trick, um, we could just shoot him without having to fight him because trying to melee and run away from the butcher is kind of impossible at low levels. Um, he, he, He's very fast, and he's very strong, and he can stun lock you. So. Okay. But we can essentially do, like, what we're doing right here. Just fire into the... Things. Lots of skeletons here. Another skelly tome. Healing. Search. What does search do? Oh, it highlights items. Interesting. I didn't realize that that was a thing. Must be a hellfire thing. You can't carry any more. Um, sure you can. Um. Is this better than ours? One armor, one armor. No. Okay. By the way, I think this game is like 10 bucks on GOG, and that comes with the up of the resolution and Hellfire expansion. It's like an official uh, port uh, from Blizzard that GOG has. Um... So, if you're interested in this game, it's 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 worth the the ten bucks by far. It it is it is the reason why ARPG is a genre. Like there there are games that kind of did this before, um, but this is the one that kind of solidified that what what an ARPG was for uh, for a genre. Diablo two is the more known one, but. And this one is also a lot slower paced than a lot of ARPGs tend to be. But... Also, there's no ammo, so we can just fire wildly. Kill something way over there. Alright, this is, this is looking like an ambush room. No, no, no ambush. Search. Healing. Can't charge bolt. Anymore. We don't have any town portals. The books are worth more, just overall. Oh, there's the ambush room. Blacksmith oil. Use that on bow. Save inventory. There are mini bosses. They're called like unique mobs in the game. Um, I have no room. Another book of firebolt. By the way, the the more of a spell you use, the higher the level it is. That's why you would want to get more than one type of book. All right, let's go ahead and use the scroll of search. Just so we can highlight the, these gold piles here. Another cape. Alright, use the shrine. 
Powers of Mana Refocused Renews. Okay. So that's just a mana shrine. Go ahead and save again. Another bookcase. Oh, and a full mana pot. Okay, a cap. I have no room. Healing, healing, healing. Search. Search. Healing. Okay, let's see what we got. Ooh, we got another book. Cap, go bye bye. Grab book. Another book. Uh, the falchion and the short sword can go. Alright, so we need to run to town and fell some stuff before we head down to level two. But, uh... And once we get to level two... Oh, actually, there's another spot we can explore there. By the way, if, there is a chance you will not see this guy. If you don't know how Diablo works, Diablo works in brackets. So there's quest brackets. And which quests you get um, is random in each bracket. So let me see if I can fit the quest 191. So let's see. Oh, it's going to be much further back. Now, this is just the Diablo book. This is not the Hellfire book. Um, so, the quests you can get in the same bracket. Okay, okay, they call them quest groupings in the strategy guide. But basically what it is, is uh, you get um, one of these two. You either get King Leoric's Curse or Poison Water Supply. Uh, at a group two, you get two of these. You either get Butcher, Ogden Sign, or Garbad the Weak. You get two out of those. Uh, group three is Magic Rock, Armor of Valor, Halls of the Blind. You get two of those. Group four is Zar the Mad, the Black Mushroom, and the Anvil of Fury. You get two of those. And finally, you either get War Warlord of Blood or Lock Dannon. Um... And aside from that, uh, you 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 are guaranteed to get uh, Lazarus, which is one of the required bosses for the end of the game. Um, but yeah, so there is there is a chance that you do not get the butcher, and you instead get uh, Ogden Sign and and something else. I don't I don't remember what the other one was. Um, I think it's Garbad the Weak. All right, so let's run over to Adria. This is what I was talking about. So in Hellfire, this exists, which is not in the in the, the main game. There's also, I don't know if we can see it just yet. Yeah, this exists. This uh, gravestone. Um, that's that's how you get to the final boss of the DLC. This is normally how you get to the catacombs. So that's added, and then there's an interaction, I believe, with the cow. No, it's the farmer. I need something done, but I couldn't impose on a perfect stranger. Perhaps after you've been here a while, I might feel more comfortable asking a favor. So this is what starts the Hellfire quest, is he's actually not here. In the base in the base game, Lester the farmer I don't think exists. I think it's just the three cows. Um, I sense a soul okay. in search of so, uh, Staff of Firebolt, Book of Firebolt, Book of Firebolt, Book of Firebolt, <laughs> uh, Book of Charge Bolt, Book of Charge Bolt. Book of Charge Bolt. Uh, I think that's good. All right, so now we need to do some organizing. Get healing. Identify can go there. Healing. 
fire trap. Identify mana. 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 Healing. 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 Okay. Alright, so we got those. Put that over there. We got a th we got two thousand gold. We might be able to get some a better bow or at least some better armor. Which we definitely want to do. All right, I'm actually gonna change some stuff on another screen real quick. Let me just do this. Okay, much better. All right. Um, this is where your town portals take you, by the way. If you're wondering why this path leads to nothing. So let's go talk to good old Griswold. Wow. What can I do for you? Uh, what premium items you got? Rag of thorns? No. Sword club. Bow of strength. Not ideal. Um. It'd give us two strength, which would be more damage, but. Uh, what do you got basic items wise? We could go up to a hunter's bow. We need 25 strength to get a longbow, so we need to make sure we get up to 25 strength. Um, but we could upgrade. Let's upgrade to the hunter's bow. Wow, what can I do for you? So, short bow, yep. We'll do that upgrade. Repair our stuff, save our game, and then I think we're good. Greetings, good master. Welcome to the Tavern of the Rising Sun. Alright. So back down into the depths we go. So we're gonna go check this side over here, and then we're gonna go down the stairs. Also, you might notice we move faster in town. That's by intention. <laughs> they were like, well, you're already... Oh, this is where the stairs were. It was. That's why we didn't go down this way, because I was like, oh, nice stairs, and then just never went down this way. But the, the maps are from a random... Like, they are randomly picked from a selection of maps, so they, they're basically random each time. I'm going to circle back around. I thought it was real funny all of a sudden. He got shot in the face. Okay, we need 25 strength. Alright, so that'll get us the ability to use um, the uh, the longbow if we find one, especially a magical one would be helpful here. Ow. Okay. That was a nice, uh, ooh, full healing. There we go. Potion of healing. Let's go ahead and drink the potion of healing, get our health back. Wow, we got three, three or four bookcases. That's a pretty solid first level. Die. Identify, search, identify, and Sir, book of search. You know what? Oh, I was like, maybe we actually use the book of search. That could be helpful, but 